All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you are watching this video later on over there. Uh, for some Bant Vanifar in best of one. We have a donation deck, and that's what the the DD part here stands for. So we had a donation deck to play a little bit of best of one. Uh, this donation deck was courtesy of somebody who supported the stream through Quip. If you get a, a new toothbrush through Quip, through my referral link, um, you get a free donation deck here on stream. You get to see us play your favorite deck. Um, and so we're going to play a little bit of best of one here. And I, I like what this deck has going on, honestly. So best of one in general has a lot of mono red and a lot of Esper control. Those are the two um, most popular decks in best of one. And I can see how this deck has a lot of tools against both of those strategies. We're just kind of a regular mid-range deck where, um, you know, we have a lot of different creatures, but we're built around Prime Speaker Vanifar and its ability to uh, kind of create uh, create a toolbox, basically, of being able to find different creatures. So, like, are we facing Mono Red where we need to gain some life? Well, we can turn Tithe Taker into uh, Knight of Autumn and gain some life. Or are we... Uh, is there any like permanent we need to remove? Like, is there like a Teferi we got to get out of there? Well, we can turn Tide Taker into a Deputy, or you know whatever. Besides being a Vanifar deck, we're also a Bugler deck. So Bugler uh, will help us find, you know, some different cards. Not only help us find a Prime Speaker Vanifar, but then you know all all these other things as well. Uh, you know, it doesn't doesn't find Harpooner or Shalai or Lyra, uh, but it does find or Carnage Tyrant, but it does basically find everything else, um, or I guess this thing here. So yeah, I could I could see this this deck doing some work. We have we have some counter magic against control as well. Negate spell pierce are good against mono red and against control, which is good. Um, so you know, we've got a lot of things here. Yeah, Fibblethip is going to be great with Vanifar. Yeah, Fibblethip, awesome with Vanifar. Awesome with the new sorcery that is similar to Vanifar. All right, how do we play? an event. Is there... There we go. Constructed event. That's what we want. What is the singleton event, anyway? I know what some people are talking about, but just what's, what's like, the entry fee payout and stuff? Okay, yeah, it's just the 250 gold that you have to win four to get... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Redstone. Alright, so, constructed event. This is the best of one. And Vanifar. If you don't see the events on your your screen, you have to you have to toggle a switch to move over to be able to have all of the play modes. Um, there it, on the main screen, it's a button around this area of the screen. It doesn't look like a switch to toggle, but it is. And you click that, and then you can have more game modes. Uh, yeah, Fibblethip is a card, and in the next set, and it's going to be great in Legends decks. It's great with Vanifar. Great with that new sorcery, whatever the name of it is, that's kind of like Eldritch Evolution. Guess we're going to have to mulligan this. Alright, we're going to need to hit some land drops. Duress. Oh. Yeah, if you hit a Fibblethip with Vow, you get to draw a couple cards as well. Yep. Well, it looks like we have uh, kind of a beginner deck here. But it doesn't necessarily mean we're going to win. If we don't, <laughs> if we don't hit land drops, we're not going to be winning this. So we'll see what we got. All right, draw a land. Nope. We drew the land there. I think I was going to deputy away to doomed dissenters. Yeah. 
This deck has 25 lands. It's a good amount of lands. We only saw two in our first hand, and now two again. There we go. There we go. Maybe I should just go Bugler. Hmm. They're playing, like, Choops. Chupacabras. I don't really want a deputy detention to get Chupacabra'd. Alright, I'm gonna go Bugler. And... Uh, put a couple lands to the bottom, unfortunately. That's a card we need to get rid of. Yeah, I completely agree. It's using the word cancer to describe decks and everything is very insensitive, and I don't like it one bit. It's not something you'll ever hear me ever hear uh, ever hear me do. Deck has 25 lands, so a good amount of lands. They get to just pay life until finding a removal spell. So Grave Waker needs to be in play to activate this 7 mana ability of return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. It doesn't work with it just being in the graveyard. You don't just get to have it sit in the graveyard and then spend 7 mana and return this creature and then return this creature and so on. It, it does need to be in play. That's not an ability to activate from there. of catastrophes. This is certainly a problem. A very large problem. That can only be solved by more mana. Alright, so Bugler can find another deputy. I guess it's just better to play than Tidesaker. It's certainly not shocking. Yeah, this was from Corset 2019. Just hasn't seen a lot of play, but it's it's really not a bad card. You know, four mana six six flying trample is nothing to sneeze at at all. This card win, wins games. No, I, th I don't think this is a pre-con card. I think it's just in the regular set. As far as I know, I think it's just in the, the regular set. Yeah, it works perfectly with Doom Dissenter there. Yeah, it is regular set. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, there's just a copy and a pre-con. Gotcha. Not that it's a pre-con card. Hey, Nate. Or Nat. Nat. Alright, 413. There's 
the date today. That's a good card. Gotta take all these 6 6 flyers. Okay, come on. Land drop. If we draw this land here, get the Lyra in play, doing just fine. What the opponent should be doing is attacking with the Chupacabra and having me block the Chupacabra. So they can get it back with the Memorial to Folly and then kill one of my deputies. So I think my plan right now is to turn Bugler into a, turn one of these Buglers into a Shalai to protect these deputies from dying, and hopefully also draw a land to drop Lyra. Our safest play to play Lyra next turn obviously was just playing the Land War Elf first. I can turn this token into a land or elf, but it doesn't have haste. If we don't draw land, so yeah, we have we have a couple options. We'll be able to either turn this into a Shalai, or we you know we play land or elf plus tithe taker. We can turn the tithe taker into like another bugler or a deputy or a knight of autumn just to gain some life. Looks like we're getting another deputy. Oh right, we have we have the deputy just blocks the chupacabra. That's true, so we don't have to actually have it die. Yeah. Yeah, there is a third deputy, yep. So that looks like that's that's probably what we're gonna do is is turn this tithe taker into a deputy. Did not draw the land. Could have gone Jade Light and you know just assumed we would or you know really try to hit a land, but then if I don't then we are in trouble. And we got Spell Pierce up. <clears throat> I probably could have been just attacking with this 1-1 one, one flyer for a while, but I like just being really safe because we're going to win a later game, so... I'm just being really, really safe.
All right, now it's time for Lyra plus Shalai. Yeah, I think that's our opponent's deck name is Golgari 66 Flying Tramplers. As you can see, I tapped the land we're off there, so I still have the blue mana up for a spell pierce. In case of like a contempt off the top. This looks pretty good for us. Um, you know, we could block with Doom Whisperer. Or sorry, we could block sh with Shalai on the Doom Whisperer. We could also not block with Shalai. We can do either one. We could just block with... Uh, you know, like a 1-1 one, one token over there. On Underneath this Doom Whisper activated ability. We could just, so we could block with like a flying token just to stay alive enough. So we hit them for 9 lifelink next turn. Or we could trade. We could we can block with Shalai plus these two and trade. And then turn this Bugler into another Shalai. we got some options here. Yeah, next turn we'll be able to pump team with mana. This, like, just if our opponent attacks for six this turn, though, we have to make some kind of block, and I don't want Lyra to die. I left my water bottles behind me. <clears throat> my other water bottles. We could have blocked with Shalai and Lyra and gained 9 life that turn. I should have just done this first. I should have just got Harpooner first. Yeah, I could have had lethal here. I just kind of went to went to attacker, so I should have just spent the six mana, activate Shalai, and then turn this land war off into Harpooner. Harpooner kills the Doom Whisperer, uh, then attack with Shalai, Lyra, these things, and we kill our opponent. Oh, that's true. First strike would have only gain five. We would not have gained nine. We would have gained five. But blocking, having Lyra block troops. We're playing best of one right now because that was our. This is a donation deck to play a best of one deck. This was the person who donated. This is their best of one strat. I don't really know of anything to go get or do with this Vanifar. I guess I'm going to get 
Conclave Cavalier. It's an upgrade. So how do we block Chupacabra without killing it? Now, we don't. We just wouldn't, like, it doesn't really matter if it dies at this point. Like, this game's over. I don't actually need to attack with all these things. Okay. That was a good board. That was a good game. You don't usually see best of one games go like that. Usually a whole lot quicker than that. Okay. Go over. You want to stay on there? Up to you. A little bit of awkward mana here. Uh, you know, waiting until turn two for Lanor Elf, but I don't think we need to uh, mulligan this. Hello. The Sergiest of Mares. I think I'll, I'll wait a second before <clears throat> playing this deputy, where we have, like, you know, see if they put a Curious Obsession on either of these creatures. Come here. Well, that's the problem with waiting, is Storm Tamer. The negate meant we would have had like any regular spell covered. Oh, I only have one blue source. That's a problem. I can't deputy plus negate here. Yeah, we need Vanifar to resolve those. We need another blue source to be able to cast Vanifar plus have Negate up. Honestly, kind of surprised that they traded Storm Tamer there. Yeah, so Vandifar resolves, but that is kind of a big deal. Now I can't go get Harpooner. Um, you know, Lana Wolf would have been able to go get Harpooner. Or, like, the Vandifar could have got it. So I can get Shalai at four. Wasn't really expecting the block there that last turn.
Shlitus doesn't do very much for us. I think I want to get Conclave Cavalier. You know, because I'll be just sacking the Cavalier the next turn. To go get Lyra. Now the problem is Trickster. I can't stop a Trickster. Our opponents have been kind of looking at their hand. It kind of seems like they have a Trickster. Definitely got really punished for making that land war attack. Them. Calling my bluff. So, you know, we want to we want to activate our Vanifar first and shuffle our library before we cast Lyra. Knight of Autumn, what do you do? It's just another three drop. It does destroy this curious obsession. Or it can gain a little life. Don't think I really want another three drop. So, like, if they have Trickster, they win. We just gotta hope they don't hope they don't have Trickster. All right, no Trickster, good. Hmm. Yeah, they do. This Surge Mare is also unblockable. So like, if they would add Trickster at end step and then just paid two, like, even without that land. Yeah, the no no double blue hurt us because we didn't get to didn't get to cast the negates to help our deputy of detention resolve without having that second blue. That hurt. Gonna be keeping this. We'll just lead out with our glacial fortresses turn one and two. to Genius Breeding Pool. Alright, so certainly waiting for the Hydra Crisis before we deputy detention. I advise that you the choices we make mm. reveal who we are. Well, should I just... Should I just deputy this Karn? Deputy's just so vulnerable. It's just likely deputy dies. Deputy dies. Definitely making this attack. I'm just making this attack and then playing Conclave Cavalier, honestly. Hoping to draw another land to be able to play Vivian next turn. Choice. 
Old Mystic is scary. Monstack looks pretty scary. Hmm. Yeah, we have gotten stuck on lands so much in these three games. So unfortunately, Beagler doesn't help you hit land drops. I could just throw down this Krasis right now. I don't. I don't honestly hate that. I don't. I don't hate playing Krasis. You are acting unwisely. I think I'm gonna do that. I think the thing I want the most is a land, and Krasis helps there. Just want Vivian in play. That's all I want right now. Nothing is ever truly lost. I've lost so much already. I won't lose more. So I'm going to kill Vivian and then hit Karn for a little bit. Feel the wrath of Scala. Every fight makes me stronger. Vivian's just much better than Karn. Best if you stop. You'll see. <laughs> Not the Wrath of Scala. No. So I do have to be worried about like finality, you know, playing the Vanifar. Makes us even worse to finality. They have a whole lot of cards over there. What do they got? They have not activated Karn yet. Looks like a trophy. Ha! I've seen worse. I should just get another forest there. Good choice. Thank you. I haven't even chosen yet. Karma's was already complimenting me on my good choice. So we know they have a frilled mystic in exile. So we can kind of assume that they may have another Frill Mystic in hand that they are holding up right now. Farewell, so, and thank you yeah, so to play you. around both Frilled Mystic and Finality, I'm going to lead with Lyra here. I don't want Vivian getting countered. Now Krasis is a draw three. All right, so we are just got to get a land here. Very good. You can't stop nature. 
I like that crisis bit. You can do that. Give me this. Hawkeye's not on my lap anymore. Move this back up. Alright, got all these wild growth walkers. Got any explore stuff to go along with them? There we go. No, my Vivian. So I'll just deputy away these walkers. Even if they killed the deputy and get their walkers back, the walkers reset to being um to one threes and so that's not so bad for us. No one knows the wilds like I do. Mm. No shall I. Bugler's not going to find shall I either. So, like, my best play is, like, playing Deputy plus Vanifar. But then is that is that, like, too bad against Fine Finality? Like, do I just wait with Vanifar b until Finality? Definitely doing this. And definitely doing this. Just what do I want to do besides those? Like, do I want to play more to the board right now? Is what I'm contemplating. I think I can throw this bugler out there, it just replaces itself. That's reasonable. See? It replaces itself. Okay, Bugler does do random orders. We don't even though we've seen all these cards at the bottom, we don't actually get to see like the order of them. Ah, not again. Shuffle them back. So they just have one card left. Let's get this Vanifar in play. I have one deputy detention left. Sounds right. They still have this memorial to draw a couple cards. The genius one. They have the folly they can get back, like a Krasis to draw cards, or a Jade Light to do Jade Light stuff. Hmm. Maybe just go get Shalai. Shalai, activate Shalai so that now Vanifar and Shalai don't die to finality.
Hey, what's up, Boot? Yeah, thanks everybody hanging out today. Alright, our opponent's trying to dunk on us with Lebrontodon over here. No attacks. <laughs> Spell Pierce. <sighs> our opponent probably can't pay two mana these days, right? Crisis for 10. Or just activate Shalai twice. I don't really want to sack the Tithe Taker right now because, you know, the card that we'd be getting is like Deputy of Detention. And I think I want to wait on that. I don't know. I could just. Yeah, because I want to wait on that to get the Crisis. I gotta keep this spell pierce up. Well, I guess I could activate for the Tithe Taker now, because I have the Deputy in hand, duh, so I could activate. What do I have for three drops even left in the deck, though? There may not be a three drop left in the deck, actually. There is not. Oh, Buglers. Right, duh, Buglers. Yeah, so I could have just got a Bugler. There are two buglers left. No, we already already used the Jade Light. There's one Jade Light, one Knight of Autumn, and then all the deputies are gone. So Bugler was the card though. But yeah, I I should have so I should have activated and gone and got a Bugler. There. Alright, let's take this thing. We don't have any good four drops to get. No, there's no more four drops to get. There's only Shalai and Prime Speaker Vanifar. Yeah, I would say just kind of wait wait for War of the Spark at this point. So finality would only kill our middle four creatures there and like that token on the right, but whatever. But like that token would just get re replaced by the Tithe Taker token. If they don't have finality this turn, we're going to start activating Shalai even more. I think we got this game. They need, like, another Krasis. Another Krasis would be trouble, though. We have no more removal. We've used both of our Vivians. And everything. Alright. Not really that big a deal. That's a big deal. That is a big deal. Huh. 
Wow, what a great draw. That was maybe the best draw we have in our deck. That was the card that I was thinking about. Whew, even gets better. I'll wait on you, Ooze. Yeah, let's let's wait on you, Ooze. Hmm. One power away from taking out both of those with this Carnage Tyrant. Yeah, we always had it. All right. Two and one. This deck has been pretty impressive so far, I think. Yeah, King Tull's a sick deck. Yeah. I like this deck. Have a lot of decisions in Vanifar decks, that's for sure. Okay, still no two drops. Another Orzov deck? Looking for lands. Want to be able to play Vanifar next turn? Yeah, you can play a Gates deck without Hydroid Crisis. Yeah, you can play a competitive Gates deck without Hydroid Crisis, absolutely. Because um, I know you can make a lot cheaper, especially in paper, if you don't play Hydroid Crisis, and I think you can. You can just play like Mass Manipulation, Explosion, and Niv Mizzet, like in that slot. Just play like those kind of rares. Um, let's let's go get Biogenicus. I think that's more useful than Lyra right now, just getting a Biogenic Ooze. Slightly annoying. Oh, we only have the one Lyra in the deck. So that one Lyra is gone. No. Discard two cards. Definitely discard the negate, and then I think it's Bugle Boy over Deputy of Detention. Hmm. Biogenic use is cool. Should take over. Don't really have. Too much incentive to do anything right now. Does this mean if they gain three life, they that I would lose three life, kind of thing, or is it just a one trigger kind of thing? It's just one life. Okay. That's good. 
Makes me feel a little more comfortable there. Yeah, now it's two. That's still not that big a deal. Yeah, we got this. Going infinite. Give me this back. Thank you. We'll get Shalai. Start pumping our team. All right, three and one. I am surprised we haven't seen mono red or Esper control yet, to be honest. So we need one more win to get our gold back. And then after that, we're adding gold. We are dominating. I don't remember what happened with our loss, but it was really unlucky that we lost. Oh yeah, was it mono blue that we lost to? Yeah, Tom, I, I will be doing ranked matches. Uh, I'll be doing like a, a YouTube series with ranked matches. Because, uh, yeah, I got to get the 3D art. <clears throat> got to get those 3D art contempts. Alright, Esper Control. So, definitely glad our opponent tapped out here. So we get to resolve this Vivian. Let's see if you're worthy. I've seen things that would oh, yeah. break someone like you. So against the removal heavy control deck, like the deck with like a bunch of sweepers and things, I don't really want to be vanifaring, but buglers are like threats that just replace themselves, and that's what I want. I just want you know, my threats to like instantly replace themselves. The wilds are my shield. So we get to like put a put a pretty good board out there where like our opponent is incentivized to Kaya's wrath, but then we have even you know like we didn't really lose anything. That should be game. <clears throat> they had to have contempt here for Vivian, of course, and did not. And there we go. Nature brings your reckoning. Now we don't even need to worry about Settle. So they have to have Contempt for Shalai, and then Settle, and then more Settles, and then more Settles. I'm just going to mark that over down as a win. My opponent said good game, I said good game. Kaya's not really that mad. Her wrath doesn't do very much. She's just not very mad at all these days. All right, four and one. That worked out really well for us. Being on the play, having turn three Shalai, they used their turn three Mortify to kill it. Then we got to resolve Vivian on turn four and Vivian just took over. So. That was like basically perfect. You know, we only have the two Vivians in the deck. 
That could not have gone any better for us. Yeah, all of our creatures were indestructible because of Viv Vivian's ultimate, so Kaiserath didn't kill our creatures. Hmm. I don't know about this hand. I don't know about this one. Okay, I like this better. Keep. Keep. So if our next, like, you know, three cards or lands, I'm going to regret keeping that land, but definitely want to make sure that we can play Vanifar the next turn. No, stop. You. Get out of here. I haven't played a Mardu deck recently. I don't want to deputy this land world. Yeah, why not? Give me that. You want to use your removal spell to get your land world back? Sure. And then no removal for Vanifar. Hopefully. Scriptures. So I'm just going to Night of Autumn this thing. So, I wonder if, was I not supposed to play Cavalier? Was I supposed to keep Negate available? All right, good. Well, obviously that's not good, but I'm, I'm glad that keeping the gate available didn't really do anything. Open no more troops. No troops. Play some sp spell that we can negate. Ugh, that's not a spell I can negate. Not looking good. I mean, it's looking okay, I guess. Attack! If our opponent just has, like, finality, then we're in trouble. Because at this point, with them being at three... Finality getting back Midnight Reaper is problematic for them. Go down to one. All right, definitely no finality now. We don't have like the. Don't even, we don't even get to tokens at all. So no finality, please. Alright, removal spell for us. 
Take a Vivian. Ugh. Never mind. Rose Wall doesn't not kill my opponent. Well, if it was deputy detention, we had to top deck a deputy detention here. All right, so let's say I attack out. Six six blocks two two. Two two blocks two two. No, because they just get to keep replaying their permanents from the graveyard with Muldratha. So I don't even want them over there. I think this could be lethal. If they have nothing, this is lethal. They should not play that Elves Reborn. If they have nothing, they're dead. Boom! Got him. Because they have to... We have the two two twos. They have to block one. All right. Five and one. The big thing that my opponent played that extra one one crisis because they're really scared of dying, but that really hurt them that they didn't have that that other crisis to play the next turn. Uh, and and yeah, five and one. So midnight reap. If okay, they had a six six, and then all of their other creatures had two toughness or less, and I had two two power creatures. They were at one, so they had to block both of them. So they could block with a 6-6, six, six, but then no matter what creature blocks the other 2-2, two, two, that one of their creatures dies. And they, I gave them back Midnight Reaper, where Midnight Reaper says whenever any of your creatures die, you draw a card and lose a life. Well, they're at one, so they, they couldn't afford a creature to die because then they would lose a life. This is the best of one event. We are currently five and one. We play until we get seven wins or three losses, whichever comes first. Um, I don't have an extension for the deck list. The deck command is right there. That's where you can see the deck list, the deck right there. Let's take this priest. Priest will likely activate, but it'll get rid of both of their cards. Like, well, I'll trade my deputy detention for those other things. Okay, no activation. No activation necessary. Gross. Down to eight. Gonna take this view. Probably shouldn't be making that attack. Yeah, I should not be making that attack. play Lyra, I have to go to four. This thing could put me down to two. And then if they have another Judith, I'm dead. Or I can just gain four life and play this Knight of Autumn. I'm 
can do that. And then we'll have our knight be able to block the Fireblade Artist. Triggers the gutter bones. Ooh, remoddy. Okay. Can you beat a Lyra though? Not likely. People don't really defeat Lyra. Lyra just kind of wins. Does it look like Lyra? What's Lyra standing on over here? What is that down there? And why is... Why is her leg, like, so long and then, like, broken? Also, like, that's not how a knee should bend. Why is her leg... Why is her leg so long anyway? Oh, that's just a reflection. It's just a reflection. Those are wings. Okay, it's just a it's just a reflection here. It's just a mirror image. Okay. Well, less interesting, but I'd like a tight sticker. Meet my newest friend. Mm. Well, I got punished for that. I didn't, you know, keep up two green mana to be able to play double land war elf here. So I guess I'm just taking this crisis. Would have been better to have double land war elf because of these priest activations. Oh, right. Well, the, the land of just die anyway, though. Yeah. Yeah, we're just kind of dead. Priest is going to kill us. We need to find another deputy detention for this priest again. Priest of Forgotten Gods is so good. Hmm. Well, I needed this to find Deputy at attention and then Deputy away the priests and then have Vivian shoot down the spawn. That was the that was my only out there. All right, five and two. Right. Can we win these last two? So what are we? Right now we have one rare and six hundred gold. Then it'll be eight hundred and two rares. That's two hundred gold and a rare. If we win this next one, and then still only two rares, but then another two hundred gold. That's what we're playing for.
Uh, <clears throat> remember when I said that Lyra doesn't really lose? Check that. I guess Lyra does lose sometimes. But... Priest of the Forgotten Gods, still great. And you're right, that's why my Judith Priest deck that I have, similar to like what our opponent was playing there, but for best of three, is why I don't have any whites in the deck. It just... I think there's enough in just red and black for that deck. This is a very good hand. I like this hand quite a bit. Mono red. We haven't faced mono red yet. <laughs> yep, that was my B. Saying that... Lyra didn't lose. I wasn't expecting them having double priest of Forgotten Gods the next turn. You know, they had one priest plus removal spell for my other one that was holding the priest. So to be fair, I wasn't really expecting that. So... I kind of don't really want to play this land war elf. I feel like our opponent could be playing chain whirler next turn, and the land war elf would just die to the chain whirler. All right, well, no chain whirler. But now we have the negate to protect it at least. Hmm. Playing mono red Drago. They did have the Chain Whirler. Boo. Yay. So should I play play Bugler and go use Bugler to get a Shalai? I, drawing a land would be the best here, where we can play Bugler, sack Bugler, get Shalai, have Negate available kind of thing. Alright, that's not bad. I'll take that. How's it you always play Shalai and then they always have Viachino Pyromancer right afterwards? How's that always happen? Deputy to Dissension. Deputy to get rid of this chain willa. Or I guess we got Knight of, Autumn. Knight of Autumn. Attack! Uh, sure. Nah. First one's okay, second one not so much. Ow. <clears throat> and this game should be over. Shall I just basically end this? They have another Chain Whirler. I don't want 
my Vanifar to die. Ah. I guess we go get, go grab Conclave Cavalier. And Conclave Cavalier can block the Chain Whirler pretty easily. Cavalier is pretty cool. So they need to have another burn spells. They have to have two burn spells for Shalai. They do not. And they scoop them up. All right, six and two. We got a final boss match here in the best of one queue. Where's my final boss playlist? Here we go. Uh, I don't. I don't know exactly how many gems we spent styling everything out. Uh, I did for. I did for entire week. All, all entire week. All of the donations I got for any donations, donation decks, anything. Uh, put them towards uh, buying gems here on the account. Um, and y'all were very awesome with that. Had a bunch of donations for that. I think. I think we probably spent like three hundred and fifty dollars. That'd be my guess. What, we spent. I also had a good amount of gems on my account already before that came out. Hmm. Thanks, Funky Mark. Philly Maze being our fifth sub of the day. Let's get a lot of hype in the chat. Thanks for that reset, Philly. You're amazing. And we are down to 23 more subscribers until we do another sub battle where we take an entire day of just me playing against subscribers. It was a whole lot of fun last time whenever we did that. And we'll be doing that again after 23 more subscribers or resubscribers. Sorry. Fourth opponent playing Goblet Shrine. We had one was Esper. It looks like another Esper here. So this is this is our second Esper, but we had two other just like black white, like aggro mid range decks, I believe. Maybe I have that wrong. Hey, it's up, Orasonic. We're playing a little best of one here. This is not a very good hand against... These These two cards are not great against Esper. Not a great hand against Esper here. Not nearly as good as our, our last time where we had Vivian already on on turn 4. We had Shalai turn 3, Vivian turn 4. Negates are great though. Love having all these negates. Nah, you don't need more cards. Basically turn that negate into discard two. I don't know, maybe that's not worth it. Yes, I saw the Ugin. Maybe it's worth it. They only got three cards left now. Definitely think one of them's absorb. Sweet. 
love trading that deputy for a contempt. Contempt's a good card. Hey, good job, Mass. You went Esper Legend Singleton with Primeval's Glorious Rebirth and got a 5-0. That's awesome. Way to go. Stop. Vivian. Ugh. Need more Vivian. Uh, it's too late now, though, as Kansa takes over. So yeah, I could I could not counter Chemist's Insights. I don't know, that's four four cards. That we traded, you know, two cards for four cards. This game's just over though. That was like, you know, my decision that could have could have not used the negates on Chemist's Insight. Let's skip to the good. Sorry, I'm late. So six and three. Losing to the final boss, and we're dead. Hey, that's not bad. 60 gems. Cool. Got some more gold. We went one and one against Esper. Um, you know, without having a whole sideboard and everything. Yeah, we had we had a bunch of negates, but that was it. The the other cards that we had were not good. You know, like draw on the land were off later. Of course, the deputy is not good in that matchup because they just use removal spells on it. Prime Speaker Vanifar is also not really that good in that matchup. And those are our only three cards, like besides negates. So, um, yeah, we didn't didn't draw other good cards in that matchup. Well, we had a bugler, but it got thought erasured. But bugler is good. Um. I guess I could have sat around and maybe found a Carnage Tyrant and see if Carnage Tyrant would win, but I'm sure they would find a Kaiserath for it. Um, but this was a pretty fun best of one deck. Yeah, I'd say this is a pretty fun deck. I think, I think I could, I think maybe a little bit more two mana things would be nice. Uh, we constantly, basically every game, we started off like turn three before we played anything. My least favorite card in the deck is the Spell Pierce. I, I think I would rather have just a two drop instead of the Spell Pierce. I like the Negates. I think those are good. But I think just another two drop, whether it's an, another Tithe Taker or another or an Incubation Druid, another one of those, or, you know, just whatever other two drop. It just kind of seemed like we, we started at three mana way too much. Like maybe a Branch Walker also. Um... But besides that, you know, it's pretty obvious that um, our donator here, uh, quite lucky, uh, has been playing this deck quite a bit. And I, I like what we have going on. It was a pretty sweet deck. All right, so if you want something different in Best of One that's not Mono Red or Esper, this one felt pretty good. So go ahead and give Bant Vanifar a try. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. 